Hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars set review, and this time it is on the Droid Escape and I Imperial ATST from 2001. So on the front of each booklet, which does have that old style border, and this was the last year they've ever did so, until they transitioned it in 2002. And, so with Droid Escapes, it does have that, but it's a fold-out leak. So it's how to put it together. And, and then join, be part of the community, obviously. And on to Imperial ATST, it's on the back of it, it says Droid Power on the web. And add for some of the Technic sets that I previously reviewed for Throwback Thursday. And then add for the first Imperial Shuttle and Watto's Junkyard and other, some other sets from the time. And then some other sets ranging from 1999 through 2001. And the last remaining steps. So, first figure for the Droid Escape is the very first version of C-3PO, which they have used a lot. Which I think was first introduced in the 2000 Millennium Falcon set, and um, which was always until about 2008 or 9, when they made it the more proper gold color. So. And of course, headpiece uh, use, which they still use to this day, and probably the first with back torso printing, which wasn't very common at the time. And although the prints on it have kind of changed as well, so, but here's a little comparison with the more later versions, which, as you see, the newer one does have wiring in the torso, whereas this older version does not, and does have printed eyes, and the older one also doesn't. And the torso's done quite differently, but at least the newer version's more detailed. But, you know, it's a 10-year difference, which goes on a lot in LEGO time. And about it with the BBL. And now on to oops, is R2D2. And this is the same version that has also been used since 19, the 1999 wave of Star Wars. There we go. And for the head print, it would also the same. Also, if compared to this later version, both the bottom parts of which done quite similarly, but the headpiece of which, where it's white with a print on it, but this later version has a regular grayish silver color. And that is about it with him. Oh, oops. And then as for ATST Walker, the only figure included with it is Chewbacca. And well, this same old style that has carried on until about 2013, but at least they until they changed about in 2014. with the printed chain belt and the molded in eyes. And it continues on to the back of which so, there we go again. 
and just like the other ones, it looks goes over the way we're at, so obviously, and that's about it with each figure. So, on to the Droid Escape Pod, which, uh, done quite nicely, as, as big use of the, like, rounded, uh, panels, like, two in plain gray, and two in white with a print on it. And just kind of simple for it. Well, good for its like five, six dollar price range at the time. You see, it has just one single uh, booster ring made of like one big cone piece. And the top part of which oh, was kind of put wrongly, as just using a couple of small cone pieces as mini thrusters, if you will. But if like pop open, and the only way of accessing it is through the top area where I was just enough space to like fit your two figures into obviously. Uh, hang on. Anyway, and put on like so, and of course cone scheme of like light gray and white, you know. With some masks, so dark gray, but with some of this uh, yellow that stands out, probably to indicate it as special areas. Same with on the hinges down below. If we like compare this to the uh, later 2016 version, which still has all a lot of those rounded uh, panels. But similar prints to that, and of course thrusters a lot different. But at least does have kind of a front view area and also facing sidewards rather than upwards. And also key part of these is it can come right up. And also you get sticker, and of course we're all stickers rather than prints. And also with this last version is get the Death Star plans, obviously. And I guess that is about it with the Droid Escape Pod. And now on to the ATST Walker, which also kind of a simple build because a little trend with these older Star Wars sets is they are like simple versions of the vehicles and all, at least until other versions over time. So with you do get these like so the feet of which are on brown pieces. Probably from the classic space lines, which helps give it some extra balance and some, and some interesting build for that with those like technic ratchet pieces and other ratcheted pieces done quite simply. And the base part of which, which acts quite wobbly, but that's part of the main feature of it. And the Head area of which uh, pretty good design like from the front area uh, kind of in odd looking at least with a good use of the jagged slopes to it and have two of those like uh, cylinder things acting as a gun and also one out with a megaphone as a gun also present to the old versions and tilt back And there's just rounded uh, tiles, of course. Also one on top, also present to the other versions. You can turn this open. And there's uh, not really a control panel in it, but just an odd yellow piece in there. Or for whatever reason. And enough space to fit your Chewbacca figure into like so. 
also like the other versions is can flip this top part open for Chewbacca to stand right up out of it, like in the movie. And the main feature of this is can like make it walk like so. Which you don't get much from the other versions. Which for comparison is with this the most recent version from 2016 Rogue One. It's like twice as large. At least unlike with the 2009 version in the Battle on Endor set. And also with this version are accents of tan and brown, which the other versions do not have. But luckily, the ATST Raider for the Mandalorian does have some brown on it. And of course. And also, the later versions don't have the jagged slopes for that, which this one does. So probably they just didn't think of that well at the time. <clears throat> and also, the like uh, paneling pieces, which they used for the hip leg area, kind of interesting for that. But besides that, it's uh, done kind of alright to it. So the trailer does justice, but that's a common sign with these older sets. And so now on to it, the final verdict on these two. So overall, these I think are pretty good, or pretty good sets for the time. First time of having a droid escape pod, and of course, having C3PO in a cheap small set to end one of the most iconic scenes from the original trilogy, of course. And also, first time of having the ATS team, which they did a few versions of over the years, and yeah. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I have had some good memories of them. And for those who haven't, well, good luck getting them like on eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. And thanks for watching.